What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna be comparing a few different Sabertrio lightsabers. Thanks to my homie Kyberphonic for allowing me to obviously review all of his uh, Sabertrio lightsabers that he has of, as right now. Um, right now, I'm showing you the Aaron, which you guys have seen a million times on the channel. I have a link to the full description and review of this above. But for now, I'm just gonna show you kind of like the differences between each one individually. But for now, you can obviously see that Aaron is kind of like a thin neck, all the way down to a cross guard. They have so many different shapes, sizes, different types of blades and everything. So we're gonna show you all that today on New Type Sith. So the Saber Trio Aaron is one of the Saber Trios I've had the most experience with just because this is the first Saber Trio I ever got to use or even just try to put, uh, actually it was the first time I got to use CFX as well. So it introduced me to my favorite soundboard, which is really cool. And another thing that Saber Trio was really well known for, they used to just do CFX. And I believe this is one of their first runs of the Aaron could have been maybe one of the, I guess like earlier ones, but still it's one of their early models. So it still holds up to this day. I'm pretty sure it's like a two to three year old Saber and it works perfectly fine. Uh, obviously they sound extremely good. They have a very, very good uh, pommel. And other than that, it's just your pretty typical thin neck. But once again, it's, it's a really cool thin neck. Um, it resembles a lot of like the prequel Sabres. So I like it a lot. I've used it a lot, but to tell you the truth, as far as all the other sabers in this video, this is definitely one of the ones I don't like as much, but you'll see why. Next saber trio is gonna be the Saber Trio Vectra. I also have another full review of this lightsaber above, so you can just click the link if you'd like to see an entire review, or you can now listen to the short review. So the Vectra is really cool because it kind of has like the astromech type like emitters and pommels. And on top of that, it's extremely light and it sounds amazing. Uh, definitely the two key things I really like about this lightsaber. They come in all sorts of finishes, but the, I guess like the matte and the chrome finish is probably the two most popular I've seen on these. But yeah, uh, let's fire this up. Oof. Is this corn horn? I love this one. Like the idol up. So once again, another thing that I really like about this lightsaber, which I feel like a lot of key reasons people like this lightsaber is because of the emitter itself. Just the windows alone, they're just like really cool. It just reminds me of like R2D2 or something. But see the sick finish. Oh, and the grip section. Like what it's just it's really comfortable. That's the one thing. Ah, oh, the saber just feels good. I like this. I gotta hold things up. I keep forgetting to hold things up, but they can see the blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Honestly, I never really thought about this too. The choke point is really comfortable as well. Wow, I never held it like that until just now. That is a whole different saber when you hold it. It's a really nice two-handed saber. All right, yeah, I only use this one. Let's see if I can... Am I good? All right. Saber Trio Vectra is definitely one of the top ones on my pick for uh, favorite Saber Trios. The only thing I would do is just probably just get a different finish, maybe like a brushed, just because uh, fingerprints are not my favorite and I've, I've already scarred Jesse Saber, so. The Saber Trio Cross Guard is one of their newest models of lightsabers. It, is, it resembles uh, Kylo Ren's, obviously, not only just because it has the Quillians, but the grip section, it's just like my Solo Guard, which resembles Ben Solo's lightsaber. I'll have the link to that lightsaber in the description above as well. But this is just like, I don't know, as far as a lightsaber, how it feels for a cross guard, it's I don't know, maybe if it's because it's lighter or the grip section feels like this, but it's just, it's, it's just a lot more comfortable. Most uh, cross guards I have felt, they're just like really heavy. They don't feel as balanced. And I think uh, most people laugh, but I think the mini blades in this is perfect. It just feels better. It looks better because the Quillians that come on it, they're just really, really big. And I don't know, it's just a lot more comfortable and I think it fits, especially for me where I swing in my house. 
But in general, um, the pommel, uh, the emitter is, they're really all just like the solo guard. It's just a cross guard. So I just think that's super cool because you have like the Ben Solo look and the Kylo Ren look all in just one lightsaber. Um, they come in, I believe, CFX and Profi. And as weird as it is, these are the ones that last the longest on the sales. So if you do like this lightsaber, you do have a pretty good chance of getting it on most of the sales. So that's also a plus. But yeah, as far as lightsabers, I think it's pretty cool. Another really cool thing about this saber trio and the fact that it's a cross guard, it even looks good in Jedi colors. Uh, Blue Mamba, one of the good homies on the channel and lightsaber YouTubers, he always has his on like a Jedi color, not just because he likes Jedis, but it just looks really good. And plus he has a blue ignition switch. This one with the red obviously resembles Kylo Ren and more dark side Sith, which is why I really like this and the black finish. And by the way, it has a really sick gold, uh, gold cover tech and it has a really cool gold button as well. Uh, and once again, it's just, just a really pretty saber. Feels really good for a cross guard. So if you're in the market for a cross guard, this is definitely one to get. And once again, Saber Trio knocks another lightsaber out the park. Another really cool option Saber Trio provides is acid etching. And not only is it acid etching on just, you know, some normal Saber Trio lightsaber, but it is on a Vulcan. Not only is this acid etched, but it's acid etched in all of Kyberphonics logos. And it's just super, super sick. One of the coolest things that I've ever seen is having acid etched lightsabers. This entire lightsaber is customized for Kyberphonic to have his logo and all sorts of other really cool things like the Sith and Jedi symbol. It's just a really beautiful piece of art on your lightsaber. And another really cool addition to the Vulcan is the fact that it almost looks like a prequels lightsaber. And I really like that Jesse went ahead and did the red button. It is just such a cool addition to this lightsaber. And once again, just like all the arabesque on the side, it says Kyberphonic and arabesque, and the whole thing is just, it's just beautiful all around. It is such a good lightsaber. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> I fucking hate this part. So once again, some of the coolest things about Saber Trio is the fact that this can all come from one place. You don't have to send this out to get installed. You don't have to send this out to get acid etched. You don't have to send it anywhere. You just, you just buy it and you get it done. Now, the one thing about acid etching is that you can't get it on every single Saber Trio. Now, there's a lot of options that do, uh, allow it, but it is a very limited run. So I will admit you do have to be really fast about uh, getting your acid etching. And once again, the Vulcan, I think is the best looking one to have acid etched just because you have so many flat surfaces so you can just fit so much on it. And it's just, once again, like really sick. Like the fact that Jesse, once again, has his logo and everything else on it. Just, it's just like, it makes it your own saber. It's not just like, oh, this is a saber. I got from Saber Trio, this is your lightsaber, custom made to you. Like, I don't think you'd wanna get rid of this selling it to somebody with your name on it. So it's just something that I feel like you wanna keep forever. So it's a really cool addition to buying a lightsaber from Saber Trio. So now I'm going to present you something that no one else has besides two people on this planet. And one of them happens to be Jesse. And the reason is because this isn't a typical lightsaber. It's not a typical Saber Trio. It may look like your typical, one of the cheapest lightsabers you can get from Saber Trio. 
The one that everybody overlooks, the one that nobody really cares about. Well, guess what? This one is a lot better. Not only does it look amazing with the sick red button and the really cool grip section, there's no speaker. That's right, Terry's. There is no speaker in this lightsaber. No, not at all. And you don't wanna know, do you wanna know why? That is why. Because I can't hear this, but you can. This is like I'm, I'm just swinging right in front of you. Nope, I can't hear it. I can't hear jack shit. But you know what I can hear? I can hear all the people watching this freaking out that this sounds this good. Is it bassy? Hell yeah it is. Because this is a direct audio link on a lightsaber from Saber Trio. This is something that every sound font creator is wet dream of a lightsaber. It's one that works. It's not gonna take a shit on you. It's not gonna be really hard to put fonts on. It's none of that. No, it's just... Probably sounds really good. This is my favorite font. Everybody knows this is growing I obviously Jesse himself, so. Kyberphonics. Kyberphonics himself. I'm not gonna put you out like that. Kyberphonics himself. His font, sick. But yes, this is just no ordinary Saber Trio. It is one that it was really, really well built and made for the, you know, King of Sound Fonts. This thing just produces the basiest fonts for all of us at home. And I think Saber Trio knocked it out the park. And honestly, for them just trying it out, this is like a concept just for, you know, special, I guess, purposes. It's really awesome. And being able to experience this, I've heard it, how it sounds in big speakers, and it is just such a cool experience to have. And I'm sure watching this video as well, it makes it seem like it's coming straight from the movie, which is another reason why I think, I don't know, any anybody that can get this or wants to get this or is a sound font creator, I don't know what you can do with Saber Trio, but I do know there is installers out there that do a lot of direct links, so you can, you know, ask them, you know, yourself. But, I mean... So, just because you guys have to hear my other favorite sound font... It's just so good. It's just so good. Oof. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this Saber Trio comparison video. I once again cannot express enough how much Saber Trio is just an amazing company. It's come from the same place. Literally, just go to one place. It's like Christmas every day when you buy something from Saber Trio. But anyways, I'm not trying to like be a spokesperson. I'm not sponsored by them. I just really adore their lightsabers. You guys know that. I have an absurd amount of videos on them. So uh, obviously I will have links in the description once again for all of my Saber Trio reviews that I have besides this and the unboxing. So you can watch me freak out first time I get these things. Also, I will be doing individual reviews on some of these lightsabers that you see here. So. Thank you everybody for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on New Type Sith for all your nerd news, lightsaber reviews, and much more. Have a good day.